Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shalina Monet. So today's video, as you saw in the description box, is about why I am creating or why I created my YouTube channel platform. And basically to sum it all up, what I'm about to say is to make my invisible voice heard. I just love makeup, I love hair, I love my natural hair, I love lipstick, I love highlighter, 365 days. I wear it even without any makeup. And I love reading and I love poetry and I'm just trying to bring it all onto this platform. Well, here, my Instagram, Lena Monet, if you don't already follow me, okay? And also, I'm in the midst of creating a blog. I love, I love to write. And I think in the interim of everything, that is my true passion. I love to write. So I'll be sharing a lot of book reviews over there. I'll be sharing poetry on IGTV, on Instagram, as well as on this platform. Because I think what's better than just seeing the words is hearing the artists say those words. I mean, if you've heard Maya Angelou read, you know, it's just totally different presentation than just reading it on a page so that's definitely what my channel is about you'll also get some blogs some story times uh and ish like i said in the thing basically anything i'm interested in i i think my main thing will be you know lifestyle beauty i think that'll be my main uh platform for this channel and just having fun and enjoying it and having fun with you guys and i hope you enjoy it as well and i would love to make a about me video so if you guys can we can get like 20 questions down below you can just ask me anything i would love to make that video for you just so you can get to know me a little bit better and you know in case it's something i don't automatically just stayed on here on this platform but yeah i really appreciate everybody stopping by my upload schedule i'm gonna be uploading twice a week so saturday no let's say sunday midnight a video will drop and then wednesday 12 p.m eastern standard time another video will drop so i'm, I'm having like this 90s no 80s vibe going on i was thinking about taking this earring off and then just have this one earring I don't know, I'm thinking Breakfast Club, Breakfast Club, Johnny Depp feel, I don't know. Uh, but if I take that off, this is my natural hair. Ain't natural for 12 years. And I had my sides shaved, as you can see. Um, I tried to flat twist it up and um because i'm in this like awkward stage now where it's too long to just gel it down and then it's too short to like really flat twist it really good you know and so this is what i get when i try to do that and then with my natural hair what i did for this is i literally flat twisted my hair back and i used some um, like a type of gel stuff i'll list it down in the description box i can't think of the name of it right now but yeah i use some type of jelly stuff to flat twist it but i didn't want it to be stiff you know and it is a really good product to not make my hair stiff and crunchy and i still got movement and all of that and yeah i flat twisted it back untwisted it and then just put it over to the side so it gave me like this beach wave type of look and i like it very very much and uh yeah so there was a poll i had listed on my instagram page about me and my wash and go natural hair and uh, i'm going to post that poll somewhere right here but definitely will be doing a video on that but since i am in this like awkward stage i am about to weave it up braid it out something maybe even just a wig just to give my hair some time to like grow out a little bit more I will still be wearing my hair out too which I might I think I'm leaning more toward the wig because I want the flexibility of taking it on and off when I feel like it and playing in my own hair and washing goes and summer is coming and I'm excited and I'm trying to get out of this quarantine state of because I'm gaining weight 
not good but i think some of us are gaining weight in this whole quarantine thing so i'm definitely ready to get out and get my workout on in my home or outside i have like a trail around my home so i definitely am working on that and i'll share that journey with you guys as well again you're going to want to check out my channel lena monet on instagram so you can get up to date status on me in that interim of things and again, I really appreciate all of you for, you know, joining the Lena gang over here. And I know you're probably wondering if you stick around towards the end of my videos, I always have music towards the end and it says, thank you for watching Asante Sana. So I'm gonna explain that a little bit. So uh, in high school, I never took a foreign language class and it was because I went to a vocational high school. And in college, I had to take a foreign language and I really did not wanna take Spanish. I wanted to take something more close to what I identify with and that is African obviously and I chose Kiswahili. I am a Kent State University alumni and I really 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 appreciate that journey and so Asante Sana means thank you very much in Kiswahili and you may even catch me saying Jambo one day <laughs> and that means hello and uh, Shikamo is also hello as well and if i'm speaking to somebody who is um an elder it shows respect to an elder so if you guys ever want any more questions on that you know feel free to leave that down below as well but yeah you're definitely going to catch me saying jumbo or asante sana you know it's just and it's also my way of keeping it because I feel like if you don't use it, you lose it. And I don't want to be in the position of losing anything like that. So, of course, again, thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for continuing to support my channel and watch us grow. Lena Gang, we are growing over here. And again, Sante Sana. Peace, you too. So forgot the alphabet. Let me explain, here yeah, it goes A's for ambition, B what I wanna be C past the situation that's in front of me Doubt is an enemy, Zep we say fuck em The irony is they inspire me to love em G is past go with ignite the cash flow When eights is put your heart in whatever's your last